So, me and my good buddy Jeff are out doing a little maintenance at our favorite camping spot. And again, private land. Uh, this is our happy place. And we're being lazy and taking it easy uh, in between work. And I'm also shooting a through night video. So this gives you a little bit behind the scenes what goes into some of these videos. It's a lot more work than I guess most people think. But uh, I've got stuff strung out everywhere. We're car camping. We're not. We didn't hike in. So we're just going to camp out of, the, out of our cars. But we're still back in the woods and away from most people. I think there's a couple houses back that way. One that way. But they're pretty good ways back too. As you don't hear much. Although someone did mention in my, one of my videos. I think it was the. Uh, which one was it? A solo overnight video. He could hear the band in the background. It was during Memorial Day, and one of the houses behind where I camp was having a party, and you could hear the live band. I tried to edit it out, but it's hard to do. But again, we're you know we live in Kentucky, so just about anywhere you go is in the backwoods. There's you know unless you're in the city, but even the suburbs, you're talking about wilderness. Jeff's going to talk about his Wenzel uh, two-man tent. Is it two-man? Yes, sir. Jeff's going to talk about his Wenzel two-man tent here. This is my uh, Wenzel Lone Tree that uh, my mother was kind enough to buy for me for uh, Christmas last year. It is a uh, backpacking tent. It's really a bit large for a backpacking tent in my opinion, but it's a very nice tent. Um, it's ideal for me. I don't, you know, camp in or hike into a lot of places, so it's really ideal for me. Uh, it's very breezy. It's got a nice little rain fly to cover everything up with. Uh, a couple places in there to put stuff at. And got a little pouch right here for your stuff. I'm going to stick a uh, emergency blanket in there just in case I get cold tonight because I don't have anything but a sheet to sleep under tonight. So, got a uh, couple rings up here in the, on the ceiling that I can hang a lantern off of. Perfect, perfect spot to hang a hero clip up there and hang a lantern off of. There you go. <laughs> Way to plug the hero clip. <laughs> yeah. Should do me well. Yep, on right. Mmm, blackberries. Bam. I'm good. That's got such a nice natural curve to it. Look at that. Here's your spoon. I said it's, it twists so bad. I'm running the knot again. I don't know if we do that. <clears throat> Should have done Joe Robin. That's a trick. Which Put is my hat underneath of it there. Uh, I catch the shavings. Yep. I think that's what I saw do that. There you go, brother. Yeah, boy, let's get that going. I like this knife better for the. This thing does great for feather sticks. I don't know if it's the grind or what, but it is. Cheating it tonight, huh? Yeah, I wanted to use my new lighter case. 
Good. I'm cool with that. There you go. We're gonna have a good fire tonight. Mm-hmm. As I say, we'll save some of this in case we need it for tomorrow. Yeah, there's plenty of that around, you know. Well, that's I saved true. one good piece to make a feather stick. Yeah, yeah that's true. This is better wood than I thought it was. I'm gonna hack your hat. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it out. This needs to be down a little bit more. Yeah, that's gonna work. Now they're used for a hammock. Yeah, I just hung a trash bag above your head too. <laughs> Four minutes and then stir and then eight minutes. Yeah. Yeah, take what I've got, I've got, I've got moon on the right side of your shoulder. Mm -hmm. And then moon you on the left of the moon. Talking about it, and I'll put the music over it. Do you think it'll make it? That's one I've never heard before. There's nothing to this. I just got my, I keep this this uh, paracord with my hammock to wrap around small trees. Anything bigger than that, I'll tie a paracord. And I use the 550 paracord 
to hang my hammock. That's what I've always used, and it's always done well for me. So I just wrap it around the, the tripod, and you can adjust it however you need it. Nothing to it. Very basic, very simple, yet effective. The many uses for a hammock. It's actually really cool. I can't believe all the different things you can do for it. What do with a hammock? Uh, and this is just an old cheapy grand trunk. I, grand trunk's not cheapy. It's a good one. The, um, the price I paid for it was inexpensive. I should say not cheap. Inexpensive grand trunk I've had for years. I've camped in this one. It doesn't have a bug net, so it's not any good for summer camping, and I don't have a good underquilt, so it's not good for winter camping, so it has to be perfect temperatures to camp in this. Just enjoying the morning, relaxing, waiting on my water to get done. So, I'm really glad you came along. Thanks for joining me and Jeff on this quiet adventure. That's the only problem with that chair is getting out of it. And the easy way to use the firebox stove. Here we go. I think we're about to boil. Real close. It's just feed in sticks on the sides. Don't overthink it. Just start shoving them in the sides. That's what it's made for. Got my Cooksa of coffee letting the coffee brew and of course we're going to share a mountain house breakfast skillet this morning I get a lot of questions about the Cooksa and why I like it so much. It's not the best way or most efficient way to drink your coffee. Obviously, it's not gonna keep it hot. Um, it's not spill proof. There's a lot of disadvantages to it, but it's the old, it's the nostalgia of it. It's the old way of doing it, of you know, drinking something out of a wooden cup that you carry around with you, whether it's water or put food in it whatever they used to use cooks for you know it's just the old way of doing it plus the wood you can smell a little bit of the wood when it heats up it gets warm it doesn't change the taste it just changes the aroma so you got like wood and coffee and i mean i just i just really enjoy it and it's warm you know it, the cup is warm um i don't know just something about it Yeah, here in nature, and uh, really enjoy it. Mountain House is just about ready. We'll be ready to uh, chow down. So, those of you who don't know, I, I've, I've had Jeff in other videos, but that's my buddy Jeff. Hi, guys. Jeff is a very special person to me. He's one of my best buds. And I like for him to come out. You've seen him on other videos. He's been on some of the hiking videos and stuff. And The um, thing I don't talk about, and Jeff doesn't talk about, is Jeff is a cancer survivor. He is surviving cancer. He's in, six, see, six year? Six year. Um, surviving stage four cancer. Uh, he is a miracle. He is a uh, wonderful, godly man, and he is like a brother to me. Um, the cancer does not define him. That's not who he is. So that's why we don't talk about it. I'm the healthiest sick person you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I mean, I'm stage four cancer. 
I go to work every day. I work in a very intense job. I work for a delivery company. Um, the only time I miss is when I'm actually out for a surgery or chemotherapy, which, you know, the chemotherapy drains you to the point where you can't do anything else. Um, Kenny here, he's a good friend of mine. He's had cancer touch his life before. His, uh, his sons had cancer and, um, That's not how we met. We met through church, and we've just bonded over the years, and couldn't ask for a better friend, honestly. Yeah, and I'm not trying to get, I'm not trying to get all sappy and and close this on a, a, a downer. This we. <sighs> it's not about me being sick. Kenny's point is, it's about me getting out and living my life. You know, I mean. There's so many people out there that I know who are sick, and not just with cancer. They're right. sick with other things, debilitating diseases, and they let it rule their lives. It defines don't. them. It becomes who yes. they are. Yeah. Yes. Don't do that. Um, I got a friend of mine, Deb. She uh, she gets out. She she has a disease that makes her muscles retract on her, and she gets out and works all the time. I mean, she can't maintain a job. But she physically goes and does things. Yeah. And it's what's keeping her alive. And you just finished? Radiation. Yeah, how many rounds of radiation? Uh, there was 14 doses of radiation this time. and um, Which they're hopeful it'll kill it, you know. But Jeff and I celebrate life by coming out here and enjoying uh, God's beauty. Enjoying what, you know, the wilderness and, and the animals and, and the good time and the fellowship. And that's what life is about to us, enjoying what we've got here, the time we're given here, and making the best of it. So I'm not trying to end this on a, a sour note or a, a downer, you know, because it's not. This is a time for celebration. This is a time for fellowship, having fun, and enjoying your life. So get out there and enjoy life. Get out there and enjoy the woods. Just get outside, do something. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.